Welcome back to Switch to Linux. Well, this is a discussion we've been having in our supporters channel after our Thursday uh, streams have ended for a little while now about Firefox and profiles and things like that. And so what I did today is I had a look at can you transfer a profile from Firefox to Firefox or are they really wanting you to create your uh, Firefox sync account and sync everything in? Well, here's kind of what I found. As of version 67, now current version of the time of recording this is Firefox 75. As of 67, according to some sources, it's a known bug in Firefox. Now, 67 to 75, apparently maybe this is not a bug, but a feature where, yes, it does appear you do need to create a Firefox Sync account but you really don't. I'm gonna show you today how you can restore your old Firefox session. All right, it is a little bit, takes a little bit more trickiness, but it is a doable thing. So according to according to some, some bug reports, people are talking about it, it's a known issue, but Firefox actually does have this article on how to recover important data. It turns out that if you go through this article and grab all of the individual files that they're men mentioning here, it will actually bring everything with your system over. So you do need to understand a little bit about how a uh, Mozilla profile works, where the files are at. I'm going to go over to an Ubuntu build and we are going to have a look at what that looks like. We're going to have a look at what the error and the issue is. Now, what I did here for my testing is I tried going from an Arch version Firefox 75.0 I grabbed my current profile, I threw it on my NAS server. Now, I wanted to try this on two different ways. I did a Linux Mint Debian Edition, a Linux Mint Debian Edition 4, which is going to have Firefox ESR, and I forget the exact version, but whatever the current ESR version is, I think it's like 69. So it's after the 67 profile cutoff. That failed to transfer the the uh, the files over. And then I tried it again on an Ubuntu running the exact same version of Firefox, Firefox 75. Okay, now what we see here is they're going to tell us about how to transfer everything over. Places.sqlite, favicons, there's your password databases, and I verified all of this stuff actually works to transfer everything over. So this is the help file that you're going to want. I'll go ahead and have this in the link in the video description down below. So if you are needing to move or distro hop without having a Firefox Sync account, because I don't want to create an account with anybody online, all right? If I can create a Firefox Sync account on my next cloud, I won't do it because there's no reason for me to take my profile data and put it on a cloud syncing server somewhere. I'm perfectly capable of managing this myself. But nevertheless, they did fight with it a little bit, so let me show you how to fix it in real time. Okay, so what we're gonna do here is we are going to head on over to Ubuntu and have a look at how to do this. We're gonna look at the, uh, the anatomy of a Mozilla profile. We're gonna show you what the bug happens to be, how to resolve that, things like that. So let's go ahead and jump on over into Ubuntu. So for record, this is running the same exact version of Firefox as is the Arch. They're both running 75.0. Of course, the Arch one says 75.0 Arch. This one's 75.0 Ubuntu. Okay, so what we see here is I'm into my home directory and I have my files hit um, displayed. So you can toggle that. Control H is going to toggle your hidden files on or off. What we are looking for is a file called .mozilla. You can see over here um, is my file from our server. So this is the one that comes directly from my old system. So we have inside of here, this is like a kind of a global thing. We don't really need that. What's most important is inside this Firefox, we will have an installs.ini, which points to a, uh, a profile. We have a profiles.ini, and that profiles.ini is pointing to this particular Firefox profile. So inside of here, we have a lot of different information. There's bookmark backups, browser data, extension data, things like this. 
So down here we have a series of files that most of these files are going to contain the in information. Now I did try taking all of the files here and just overwriting an existing or a new profile. That does not actually work. We still get the error. So something else in here is still triggering the old profile. Rather than figure out what it is, what we're going to do is we are going to go through uh, the article here and we are going to just manually recover the files that we need. So first First and foremost, when there is no .mozilla folder in here, it means that there is no profile. So when we click this button here to start Firefox, we're going to see a .mozilla folder show up, and that is Firefox creating a new profile. It says there's no profile, so let's just go ahead and create a new one. So you'll see there's the .mozilla file. We are going to load up Firefox for the very first time. So according to that, it's the very first time, hence all of that. So anytime you're doing manipulations here, you want to close the uh, close the browser. So what you used to be able to do is just go into Mozilla, go into Firefox, and then we could just go into here and just literally you could just take the whole .mozilla folder and drop it in over here. So what I'm going to do is just to save time, I've already dropped that .mozilla folder here on my Ubuntu desktop. So we're going to copy it and we're going to paste it into here. So now we have a Mozilla folder. When Firefox boots up, it should in theory boot up that current version of Mozilla. Let's see what it does. This is the error that we get. Using an older version of Firefox can corrupt bookmarks and browsing history already saved to an existing Firefox profile. To protect your information, create a new profile for this installation. Now, Firefox, you need to put this as the highest stinking priority because it does appear as though you're trying to force everybody into your online syncing stuff, creating an account, and I ain't gonna do it. Okay, but so we have two choices, not use Firefox or create a new profile. You know how wonderful you are, Mr. Mozilla. Okay, so here you can see it's booting up for the first time. And when we go into our dot Mozilla, into our Firefox, you can see now that we have our old profile, which it will not allow us to use, and we have our new profile. Now, I thought maybe it's just, hey, maybe it's just the way the profiles are naming, so I just tried to copy everything from the content of the old profile into the new profile. That still gives us the error. I also tried taking my current .ini's and just replacing the instance of the new profile into the old profile. Let's have a look at what these guys look like here. So the um, the profiles.ini tells us what our install is, tells us what our profile is. You can still see it still goes, has a profile zero indicating, hey, this is an older profile. Um, so in, uh, let's see, is relative one, is relative one, default one, but doesn't like that anymore. So this is locked. This is version two. Start with last profiles one. So that's this one here. Maybe I could toggle this guy over here, but uh, I'm not really holding my breath on that one. The INI just kind of points to the current one. So let's just go ahead and boot this guy up. And it's like, whoa, choose a profile, default or default release. So this is actually the first time I saw this screen. This is exciting. Can I actually go ahead and use one? Let's go ahead and go with the default profile. Let's see what that does. And it doesn't like that. Oh, no, we can't force ourselves to use that. All right, let's go ahead and quit. Uh, boot up Firefox. Maybe I can get that same screen again. Let's go with the one they insist that we use. Oh, boy. All right, now let's go ahead and... Um, come up here and I want to use my bookmarks toolbar. Oop, not my menu bar. My bookmarks toolbar is what I want. Let me get rid of my menu bar. All right. So there we have, we have no extensions. Of course, I don't use a lot of extensions anyway, but you can see there's no extensions in here. That's kind of the stuff that we want to fix. So what we're going to do is this is the profile that they're giving us, the ZSQL. What we need to do is we just need to grab a couple of the files. 
So first, let's go ahead and do our extensions. Those are going to be inside of the dot extensions. That's actually not mentioned inside this Firefox article that's down below. We're just going to move these guys over. We will have to enable our extensions, but they will all be there. And in theory, they should carry all their data with them as well. Okay, so that's good for there. The next thing that we need to do is we need to grab a variety of files. And I actually have this file opened on my other computer so I can remember what everything is. Now what we're going to do is we're going to simply copy some files over. All right, so in the order we need them, let's do the places.sql. So find our places. And there's also this uh, places.sql lite.wal. I'm just going to go ahead and grab all those as well. Uh, there's a favicons, which is going to be any icons that are being stored. We have our passwords, which is important if you're saving logins. Some people will recommend doing that. Some people will not. But in the event you are using those, go ahead and do that. Uh, permissions, we'll have any permissions that you've decided on a site-for-site -site basis. Um, oh, search engines. I didn't actually do that in my initial test, but let's go ahead and add our search engines over there. Uh, personal dictionary in the event you have one of those. And I'm pretty sure I do not have a personal dictionary. So we're going to skip that one. It's called persdic.dat. I know, funny names. We have a form history. If you save any forms, there is a form history one up here. I don't know. I guess maybe I have saved some form histories. So there's that. Uh, cookies, if you happen to save cookies. Now, on my Firefox browser here, I do actually save cookies on this particular computer because... Uh, this is a computer that I use to check in on a lot of different uh, different accounts and things. And then there's another one for called handlers for any individual file handlers. So now with these guys copied over, we're just going to copy these guys over, overwrite any files that it says we're going to overwrite. So let's go ahead and replace all those files. Okay, so it copied 13 files over. Now when we boot up Firefox, let's go back with this one. Let's go ahead and use selected profile without asking again. That way it stops asking us that. Now when we boot this guy back up, you can see I have all of my bookmarks here. I will need to come over here and re-enable my individual extensions. So there is my language tool extension. Um, I'm sorry, one of those, one of those was for my, uh, my IP addresses that I use for stuff. There's my language tool. And now I have all of my sign-ins. Let me see if there's any of these that are not dangerous for me to sign in. Not really, because those are all kind of things related to back into the business. But I did actually verify and confirm, click on one of these guys there. It will give me my login information. So now I basically effectively have everything that I would need. Uh, let's go ahead and let me test one more thing. Let's go to Twitch, see if it actually logs me into Twitch or not. Um, it does appear to log me into Twitch. So that's the one thing I keep saved in there just uh, because I watch my brother's show on Twitch. All right, so um, that is everything is logged in. It carried with me my my. Uh, I got my extensions, I got my bookmarks, I got all the other things inside of there. It was an extra few steps that, uh, that I wish it wouldn't take. Uh, Mozilla fixed that because it, we need to just be able to take our profile and transfer it with us. According to people, that is a listed bug. I have not looked into what Mozilla's idea about it is. It's kind of annoying. It's kind of frustrating, but uh, let's take them at their face value and say, sure, it's a bug they haven't addressed yet. This tool here will show you again how to get those items back. So now I do effectively have my browser transferred over. Hopefully this will also work with a Firefox ESR. Um, if you want to give it a try with ESR, let me know in the comments down below if it does. Thanks for coming along on this video. Subscribe if you've not already done so. Have a look at switchlinux.com forward slash support. Otherwise, you can help support the channel. Thanks for coming along, and I hope that you enjoy switching to Linux.